I'm sorry, at the end of part two, I said we were going to look at fusion. Actually, in part three, we're going to go on with the parts of a nuclear reactor. Um, remember that the reactor core is where the nuclear reaction occurs. That is, in this picture, is located right here. Surrounding the core is a big building called the containment. The containment is reinforced concrete. This is showing concrete. These are reinforcement rods. There's all kinds of other reinforcement around the core. The purpose of this is twofold. One is to make sure that things that happen inside don't get outside. Also, it's to keep things from the outside from getting inside. These things are uh, built to withstand everything short of a direct attack by a nuclear bomb. They've even crashed um, airplanes into the material they make containments out of without damage to the containment wall. So this is the containment building. And in the United States and Japan, in our reactor design, this is an important safety feature. Now, in the former Soviet Union, they did not use containment buildings. They just built theirs in a building like an office building type thing, which turned out to be a really bad idea. Here is a picture of a nuclear power plant. These big dome-shaped structures are the containments. And if you notice, you're, you may be noticed missing the iconic cooling towers, like from The Simpsons. Those are not necessary. In this case, they use the water of this lake or even maybe the ocean to cool their water. And here are those iconic cooling towers. These are the containment structures here. And all these are doing is cooling off the water in that third loop of water. So the wa this, this is steam coming out of here. This water has never been in contact. It's never been inside the containment. It is just a cooling water. All right, so here it is again. Here's the reactor with the fuel rods are down inside, the control rods that control the reaction, the moderators surrounding the fuel. Then there is a coolant here in the United States that's just water. We pump water around here. That water gets very hot. It's under pressure. Carries water over to the steam generator where the heat from that water causes the water in this loop to boil into steam. That steam then travels here, causes this big turbine fan to turn, which creates energy to turn the generator and electricity is formed. Then here's the cooling tower in a separate condenser loop. Again, this water does not ever go inside the containment. All right, now we're going to look at fusion in part three, uh, part four, I'm sorry, of this set of videos.